Welcome to the level 1 derivatives summary video series. This video is a summary of the reading on risk management applications of option strategies. In this particular reading, you need to understand the payoff and profit diagrams for a long call, short call, long put, short put, a covered call and a protective put. So six things and you need to know the basic profit and payoff for each of these. This is a long call. With the payoff and profit diagrams, the x-axis is the stock price or the price of the underlying. The y-axis is the payoff or the profit depending on what you are looking at. Let's say that you have a call option where the strike price is 25 and the price that you paid for the call option, the value when you bought it is 3. So in blue, what we are looking at is the payoff diagram. And this is something that you've seen before. So on this payoff diagram, this point is the exercise price, which is 25. The black line is the profit diagram. So notice for a long call, the profit diagram simply means that we shift down by three. Why three? Because three is how much you paid for the call option. So what is the break even point? The break even point is going to be 28. What's the maximum profit? It's infinite. As the stock price keeps going up, the payoff and the profit keeps going up. Now you can think of this in terms of formulas or you can just draw these pictures and think of it logically. What is your outlook if you invest in a long call? Your outlook is a bullish outlook where you expect the stock to go up. What is the maximum profit? It's infinite. What's the maximum loss? It is C. It is how much you pay for the call option. What is the break even point? It is the strike price plus the call option. Now either you can try memorizing that or you can just quickly sketch this and from the sketch it is obvious that the break even point is X plus C. Next point is a short call which is a mirror image of what we just saw. So this is the payoff diagram and we've seen this. The inflection point is the strike price, which is 25 in our case. A short call will make a maximum profit equal to three, which is the value of the call option. So maximum profit is C. The market outlook of the investor is bearish. What is maximum loss? Infinite break even point is the same as what we saw before. It is X plus C. Next point is a long put. So remember the blue line is what we've seen before. The payoff is equal to X if the stock goes to zero. What's the payoff over here? So over here the payoff would be zero. The profit diagram in black is simply the payoff down by three. If the price, the put option is worth three, then you just go down by three. What is the market outlook of the investor? Long put outlook is bearish. Maximum profit is this point. So notice this point is X minus P. In our example, if X is 25, P is three, then this number would be 22. What's the maximum loss for the long put? The maximum loss is how much he pays for the put. What is the break even point for a put? The break even would be X minus P. And again, I keep emphasizing that rather than just trying to memorize these, just have a sketch, then you don't need to memorize. Short put. This is the mirror image, same break even point for the short put. The maximum loss is 22 and the maximum gain is the price of the put option, which is three. These are fairly self-evident. What's the market outlook? If an investor believes that the market will stay the same or go up a little, then it makes sense to take a short put position. Maximum profit is P, maximum loss for short put is X minus P and break even is also X minus P. All these lines are 45 degree lines. 
नेक्स्ट वी कम टू अ कवर्ड कॉल अ कवर्ड कॉल इज अ स्टॉक प्लस अ शॉर्ट कॉल नाउ हियर आई विल पॉइंट आउट अ मिस्टेक दैट सेवरल स्टूडेंट्स मेक अर्लियर वी टॉक्ड अबाउट पुट कॉल पैरिटी इन पुट कॉल पैरिटी वी हैव अ फिड्यूशरी कॉल अ फिड्यूशरी कॉल इज अ बॉन्ड एंड अ लॉन्ग कॉल which is very different from a covered call a covered call is a stock and a short call so you have to remember this at level 3 you only need to remember three portfolios one portfolio is a protected put stock plus put the second is a covered call which is stock and short call and the third is fiduciary call which is bond and call so you have to remember that then for a covered call let's now look at the payoff and the profit and if you are listening to this video then i want you to pause and fill this out say that you buy a stock for 25 that's your investment in the stock and you sell a call for 3 which means you receive 3 dollars and on the call option the underlying is that same stock the strike price is 25 fill out this table which asks you for the short call value the total value total profit then draw the payoff and the profit and then show the maximum profit maximum loss and break even here is what you should come up with we take different possible stock prices so that is your x axis so different possible stock prices what is the short call value notice that the value of the short call is zero as long as the stock price is 25 if the stock price goes over 25 then the long is in the money but where is the money coming from it's coming from the short so notice this minus 2 minus 5 is simply based on the short having to deliver what is the total value total value is the stock and the short call so here you simply take the stock price and minus the payoff so stock price is zero short call is zero so the total value is zero this is total value for the covered call stock and short call what if the stock price is 10 stock price is 10 value of the short call is zero so the total value of the two combined is 10 this column is simply the sum of column 1 and column 2 so you can come up with the total value that total value is depict, depicted by this blue line so blue line is the value of the covered call then what is the profit the profit would simply be the value minus the investment so what was your net investment at time 0 you bought a stock for 25 and then you got 3 by selling the call so what was your net investment 22 So this black line is simply a shift down by 22 the black is the profit so this would be minus 22 this would be the break even point would be 22 and if you look at the table and you look at the picture you can come up with the maximum profit maximum loss and break even the formula for maximum profit is x minus s not plus c not which if x and s are the same then this is simply 3 now earlier i said that with long call short call long put short put just use logic draw the picture here based on my experience i would actually suggest that you learn these because it takes a little bit of time to derive them and you don't have the time on the exam So here my suggestion is just learn the fact that maximum profit on a covered call is x minus s plus c maximum loss is s minus c and break even is the same so this is one of the few things that i want you to just memorize even though if you spend time you can look at the logic two more points on a covered call before we move on you've already established that this is you own the underlying and you sell a call this is a conservative strategy why do we say that if you believe that the market will go up a little 
then you will make money. If you believe that the market is going down, then the fact that you sold a call gives you a cushion. Right? Obviously, if the stock goes down a lot, you lose, but you will always have that cushion of $3 if the call was sold for $3. So that's why it is a conservative option. So even if the market goes down a little, then you don't lose much. If the market goes up, you gain something. But the problem is that if the market goes up a lot, you don't gain a lot. What does this payoff look like? Or the profit diagram looks like the profit of what instrument? This looks like a short put. So the, the shape of the profit diagram for a covered call looks a lot like a short put. That is something that can show up on your exam. Next we come to a protective put which is a stock plus a long put. You buy a stock for 25 and buy a put for 3 with x equal to 25. So here again try to fill this table out and draw the profit diagram and the payoff diagram. This is what you should come up with. The blue is the payoff, the black is the profit. Notice that the maximum profit is infinite. What is the maximum loss? And this is something you can just learn. S0, which is the initial price of the stock, plus P0, minus X. And the break even is S0 plus P0. So just learn these. What is the advantage of a protective put? The long put limits the downside risk. If the stock starts crashing, then you lose on the stock, but you gain on the put. So the put option puts a floor on how much you can lose. And this connects with one of the major uses of derivatives. The put option is helping you limit your downside risk. Paying for the put is like buying insurance. So that's why it's also called a premium. So you pay for the put, which then says that if the stock starts crashing, the put will protect you. And the combination of the put and the stock is therefore called a protective put. If you found this lecture helpful, then I'll be very grateful if you can do three things for me. Number one, like this video. Number two, like my Facebook page. And number three, visit analystforum.com and there add my logo to your studying with profile. You can see this slide for help on how to do that. Thank you very much and good luck with your studies.